Okay, goals is our next word. All right, now with this one now, you, I know we all have short-term and we all have long-term goals. Now, now just let me make sure, make sure you're not one of these people that's just wandering through life and they're like, they're 45 years old and they're like, I don't know what to do with my life. So make sure as you're growing up, that you kind you kind of know kind of what you want to go for in your life. Don't just don't like I said. Don't be one of these people just wandering from place to place or from job to job, and they're like, I don't know what to do. Have, try to make a try to sit down and have a strong uh, foundation for what kind of goal you want in life. Uh, maybe maybe it's a short term goal. Maybe it's to make an A in that math class. But even if it's just a six month goal like that, I think uh, most of our semesters, or most of you guys' semesters in school that are in school, is maybe what is it six months? If you're in high school, if it's to make an A, make sure you you stick to that goal for that six months. Try to make that A. I mean, there's nothing. I mean, there's nothing wrong with a B, but uh, try to go for that A. Try to try to do your best, even if it does require uh, a little extra help to get that goal done. Or maybe it's. Uh, Maybe it's something that older, hopefully older individuals have to deal with. Maybe it's uh, raising a child. Uh, this one, it can be long-term and short-term, but hopefully everybody's goal that has a, has a child uh, is to just to teach them the right things in life and to bring them up the right way and to see them go off and, uh, into the right paths in life and not go down the wrong paths of drugs and uh, meeting up with the wrong people. Hopefully... Hopefully a long-term goal for your parents is to see your child succeed in everything they uh, set their minds to. And even when they don't succeed in the things they want to in life, just be a, just be a positive voice uh, that will back them in anything they may try to do. And uh, even even uh, even for yourself, be a be positive in in your goals. If if something doesn't go right, and uh, maybe uh, you've got some roadblocks uh, on the road to your on your goal, just just do the best you can with them. Uh, have have some. Have, make sure you have positive people in your life. Make sure you don't have people that's always around you saying, "I I don't I don't know I don't know if you're gonna be able to do this." Have those people that are always behind you saying that they know that you can achieve this goal. And even if you fail, make sure make sure you have. Make sure you get enough uh, strength, have the right people around you so you can stand up again and try and try again. And maybe it takes uh, 200 tries. I mean, well, I mean, I can't remember right off. I know somebody has, uh, gave me the correct answer, but I think it was a couple hundred times it took uh, uh, Thomas Edison, I believe, hopefully I got that right, to uh, get a light bulb that actually works. So, I mean, if it's, if it's a difficult goal, don't expect it to happen on the first shot. I mean, sometimes that, sometimes, I mean, you may be lucky and it happens and you achieve your goal the first time, but there's a lot of people out there that just, I mean, year after year, they're just trying after that goal and they just keep failing. But, uh, it takes a different kind of person to get up again and keep going after their goal or dream. So I just urge you, even like with this website for me, this has been a goal that I have been trying to achieve for or I've been I've had it rolling around in my head for a couple of years now, and to to finally see it uh, actually becoming something is just um, I mean I can't even explain it. I'm just hoping I'm hoping that it is successful. But if it's not, I'm I mean I'm not the type of person to give up that easily. I mean you got to have a different frame of mind when it comes to your goals and dreams. You got to you got to step outside of that box if something maybe doesn't work conventionally, like with this website. I'm hoping that this will be a, something a little, I mean, this is outside the box when it comes to martial arts because I know there's going to be a lot of people that do not agree with this type of teaching, but this is 2000, depending on when we launched, 2009, 2010, maybe 2011. We are, I mean, this is the 2000s. I mean, this is... The tech. This is technology. The technology uh, era. This is not back in the uh, you know early days of martial arts when it was just uh, taught in your home or uh, family to family. I mean, we have the internet. We have all kinds of communication means, and all I'm trying to do is bring martial arts to the whole world and and to people that maybe. Uh, 
uh, doesn't have a school in their area or can, cannot afford a regular program. I mean, this is not for everyone, but the traditional martial arts school is not for everyone also. So uh, this is just, this has been a, maybe a, this is an outside the box idea, like I said before, but even if it doesn't, you know, go over well, um, I will try to pick up and start again. Like I hope every one of you guys and girls do if maybe you have an idea that's unique and doesn't go on the first shot. So just uh, stay true to your goals. I guarantee you, you will not be sorry. Just never give up.